this morning I woke up and of course turned on uh, the news and got a whole barrage of advertising ads from these campaigns and it is absolutely clear why most Americans are very very confused and they're very confused because the great bait and switch is on nobody is seeing things that really materially affect their lives that is what we have right now in the current body politic all we're seeing or what they want you to see and what they don't want you to see are the things that really matters to you this election should be very very simple it should not be complicated by immigration it should not be complicated by the fear for others it should not be complicated by any of those issues the reality is there's only one thing that matters and that we vote our interests and if we vote our interests everything will work out fine the, the, the whole issue or the, the major issue here is health care if we do not elect progressives this cycle your health care whether you have it through your employer or whether you do it on your own will be more expensive and for quite a few people with pre-existing conditions likely more than 30 40 percent of the country you likely will not be able to get health insurance or afford health insurance there are no two ways about it currently Republicans and specifically red states are in uh, the Supreme Court in the courts right now are trying to get the insurance companies to not have to any longer provide care for or provide any uh, benefits to folks with pre-existing conditions that's a fact that everybody can look up so when Republicans right now tell you that they are concerned about pre-existing conditions they're concerned about you thinking they don't want pre-existing conditions because they know you wouldn't vote for them there so therefore this vote is very simple if you make a health care vote and a personal economy vote the only way to vote is through uh, is for progressive candidates period uh, now here here is something that I want to put out and this is very important in Texas and this applies to red states all over the country red states all over the country that did not accept the Medicaid expansion to the Affordable Care Act if you are a driver of a car and you're drunk and you kill somebody even though you did not intend to kill somebody you can be charged with manslaughter or even some sort of murder because you committed a, a crime you put yourself in a state that could have created that crime the Medicaid expansion to the Affordable Care Act gave every single state the opportunity to ensure their indigent and ensure their poor people ensure their lower middle class people with health care almost free of charge and the state paid zero why did the pay, state pay zero because every state is already paying into the Affordable Care Act fund and as such qualifies for as for insurance for all of its citizens that said red states including Texas chose not to do that in choosing not to do that what it really means is that these people affected the deaths of many of their citizens for Texas that is on average 2,000 citizens of Texas die per year because our Republican uh, Congress and Senate and governor decided that for ideological reason they would prefer their citizens to die than to accept the Medicaid expansion to the Affordable Care Act because it was placed by somebody they didn't like if you drive a car drunk and you kill somebody you go to jail if you're a politician and you knowingly create policies that kill your citizens you should be at minimum voted out that is a choice you as Americans have to make right now and it's a choice that we should make lastly uh, the, if currently we go ahead and elect the people if we currently elect Republicans because of their deregulation state because they believe in deregulations at all cost here in Texas 
cancer alley, more cancer substances will be allowed in the air or being allowed in the air. If you're living in Appalachia, more substances, mercury from cold burn and all these things are now left in the streams. This makes your health worse, but interestingly, as they make your health worse, they ensure that you don't have the resources to get health care. So two times around, you're getting hurt, not having health care and deregulations that cause you ill. Now, people may think this is hyperbole. People may think, well, it can't really be that bad. Well, the reason why nobody is talking about these issues in detail is because if they do, they know where the votes will go. One last thing before I go, and it has to do with healthcare again. All rural hospitals around this country, or many rural hospitals around this country, are closing because in rural areas, there's usually less support, less money, people are poorer to support the hospital infrastructure. The Affordable Care Act solved that by ensuring the people who reside in these rural areas had health care, which means everyone could go to their local hospitals. Because again, these governors and congresses red in red states decided that they did not want to accept the Affordable Care Act uh, Medicaid expansion. It meant many of these hospitals are closing, which means folks had to drive that much further for health care. If there's an accident in your local area and there's not a trauma center close by, more than likely you die. So again, there's the voting in this election should be very simple. You shouldn't have to worry about watching all the ads with immigration and all these things. The same people who want good health care are the same people who want good regulations are the same people who want those hospitals in rural areas opened are the same people who want good immigration policy. There's only one responsible way to vote this year, and that is to vote a straight line Democratic ticket. Democrats all down the line. They're not, I mean, they're not perfect by no means, but if you want policies that are at least going to come close to helping you, policies that will support you, that's the only thing you, you ought and can do right now. Don't want to bore you too much longer, but folks, this vote is existential. This vote means a bit. We can talk about fascism and all the other isms, but I don't want to go there. I want to say, vote your interest. Vote what's best for you. And what's best for you has little to do with the noise that you're hearing.